In this video, we shall teach all of you about how to resolve conflict in a peaceful and mutually beneficial way, as well as showing you examples of how not to do so, as this can and will arise more often in the current pandemic. But first, a lesson in multiverse theory. Whoa. Multiple universes have been hypothesized in cosmology, physics, astronomy, religion, philosophy, transpersonal psychology, music, and all kinds of literature, particularly in science fiction. <laughs> Today, we will be peering into three of these said universes to view the outcome of the same situation through different lenses. By the way, all three universes are experiencing the same outbreak, so they all three talk with the same video chat or texting app, and that isn't weird. Here we are in the first of these three universes. We'll call this one Universe A. Meet Duck Robertson and Nichols Cage, longtime Scalia students and most recently, housemates. Their living situation is off to a rocky start, as Nichols has yet to pay his half of the utilities. Duck attempts to confront him about this at an e-meeting they set up. Duck sends a text that says, Hey Nichols. When are you going to pay your share of the electric bill? I paid for it last week. Nichols looks up to the e-meeting and says, Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I just had to have this new game that came out and spent my electric bill money on it. I'll pay you back when I get paid in a couple weeks. This is not the response Duck was hoping for, but he reluctantly agrees. Nichols is going about his regular daily routine when he discovers a disturbing pattern that has been forming around his house. It seems Duck has neglected to wash his dirty dishes in the sink and has elected to lay them literally anywhere else. Nichols objects to this and sends an email to Duck saying, You should really do your dishes. They're laying all over the house. Duck replies, stating, Oh, I'm sorry about that. I noticed I've been doing that. I'll keep a lookout, I guess. Pandemic anxiety begins to set in with poor Duck. Nichols is aware Duck has been having anxiety, but is unsure of what he can do to make things easier on his housemate. First, he tries to send a humorous text as a means of coping. Hey, your roommate, or shall I say, two-mate, but gets left on read. Later, Duck sends a news article to Nichols. Nichols replies with, News has been stressing me out too. Maybe it would be a good idea for us to talk about something else. Nichols gets left on read again. Maybe the next universe has better solutions for their problems. Universe B. Bad. Coin Conflict. Duck Robertson and Nichols Cage are off to a rocky start in their living situation, as Nichols has yet to pay his half of the utilities. Duck attempts to confront him about this at their e-meeting. Hey Nichols, you need to pay your share of the electric bill that I paid for last week, or I'll just go around your room taking whatever I deem fit as compensation. Mm -hmm. Nichols looks up to their e-meeting and says, Look, Duck, I just had to have this new game that came out and spent my electric bill money on it. I'll pay you back when I get paid in a couple weeks, and if you come into my room, I will call the cops. This is not the response Duck was hoping for. But he reluctantly agrees. Plate Problems Nichols is going about his regular daily routine when he discovers a disturbing pattern that has been forming around his house.
It seems Duck has neglected to wash his dirty dishes in the sink and has elected to lay them literally anywhere else. Nichols objects to this and sends an email to Duck saying, Are you having trouble with your dishes? Have you tried smashing them and buying a new set of dishes every week? If I keep finding them around the house, I'll smash them for you. Duck immediately <laughs> replies, stating, If you break my dishes, I will scream as loud as I possibly can every night at exactly 3.33 in the morning. Also, they are my dishes, so it's my choice where I leave them. Virus Nightmare Pandemic anxiety begins to set in with poor Duck. Nichols is unaware Duck has been having anxiety. Nichols tries to send a humorous text to Duck. Hey, do mate, do you want to watch that movie, Contagion? Nichols begins to hear Duck screaming and crying. <laughs> if you want, I'll put on a pot of coffee and we can watch the news. <laughs> This is definitely not the universe with better solutions for their problems. Let's look at one more. Universe C. Caring. Duck and Nichols are longtime Scalia students, but are off to a rocky start living together. As Nichols has yet to pay his half of the utilities, Duck attempts to text Nichols about the situation. Hey, I paid the electric bill last week and I haven't gotten your share yet. I'm concerned about when you'll be able to pay me for that. If you're having money troubles, we can talk about it. Nichols replies by saying, I hear you and apologize that I forgot. I don't have the money right now, but I can share my food with you or do some extra house chores for you as partial payback until I get paid again. Dishes wishes. Nichols is going about his regular daily routine when he discovers a disturbing pattern that has been forming around his house. It seems Duck has neglected to wash his dirty dishes in the sink and has elected to lay them literally anywhere else. Nichols is concerned about this behavior and sends an email to Duck saying, I noticed your dishes haven't been getting washed. Do you think you'll be able to wash them more often? If you're having trouble, I can show you a video on how to do dishes. Duck replies, stating, Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hadn't noticed I've been doing that. I hear what you're saying, and I'll try to do better in the future. Isolation Issues Pandemic anxiety begins to set in with poor Duck. Nichols is aware Duck has been having anxiety. Nichols tries to send a text as a means of coping. You've seemed pretty stressed the past few days. How are you doing? If you want to talk, I'm always here. Duck sends a message saying, Sorry, I've been reading too much of the news lately. Nichols says, You might try turning off notifications on your phone. Duck replies, Thanks, I might try that. Nichols continues, I can also make a pot of tea and we can meditate too. You might not have someone by your side, but you never have to be alone. Duck sends a response to Nichols. I've been feeling really lonely and isolated since the pandemic started this year. It's been taking a mental toll on me. Maybe we could watch a movie or play a game together soon. Nichols and Duck spend the rest of the day hanging out together, which helps improve both their moods.
Thus concludes our look into these many universes.